Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's Friday. This is weird. I don't normally put a video up on Friday, but guess what? I'm doing a wee collab with the lovely Natalie Mugridge. Yay! <laughs> so she'll be doing this beautiful set here as we decided to do an autumn theme. So here we are. <laughs> Pop on over, give her a wee sub, say hello, give her a like, all that good stuff. Yes brilliant and i have to say the scottish word of the week is in this video i will be putting up another one on sunday for you and um, but this is going to be my main video for this week and scottish word of the week yeah stick around because <laughs> it's very fitting for this one very fitting for this video <laughs> oh never a dull moment um, everything that i've been using in this video i will pop it down below in the description box as usual for you and let's get stuck in. <laughs> so I'm going to do two coats of this beautiful Velvet Queen, I'm sure it is, on the pinky and the middle finger. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. I will only show you me doing the one coat because we'd be here till Julie and Bart if I didn't. Once I've done that, I'm going in with a thin layer of base coat. Now the trick to this is trying to keep it as thin layers as possible, especially when you're using glitter. Um, and this is a chunky glitter mix, well two chunky glitter mixes that I'm using. So I'm being sure not to pick up too much at once and just pat that in and try and flatten it down as you can see. So I'm doing a full glitter nail on this one. I use the gel polish as a background colour so if there's any wee gaps it'll fill it out. We're just tapping it in there with my wee application brush as well. This is from Nail Sugar. That made no sense. <laughs> this is from Nail Sugar as well. The wee application set brush. Brilliant. I use them for everything. You'll see what else I use them for in a wee minute. <laughs> so as I faff about here, we're going to move on to using some base coat just to seal all that glitter in. I do two coats of base. If you have a rubber top or a rubber base coat, they're perfect for that as well. Okay, so the middle finger, I'm gonna do a wee glitter fade. Again, just the same technique. I've covered the whole nail in the base coat and I'm just going to gently pat that into it. It's still wet, I haven't cured it. So I'm just gonna tap it in and then try and disperse it a wee bit as I go up the nail like so try to keep it nice and thin and then we're going to go on to the ring finger and the index finger now i'm going to do a french on both of those nails so i'm going in with under my skin i'm sure it is i'm, I'm quite sure it's that one we could be wrong though <laughs> so again i'm just going to show you me putting on one coat as you can see it's quite good coverage even just with one but i like to do two because I'm just weird like that. <laughs> now it gives you, like, you get a nice even coat coverage, sorry, when you do that. Now I'm taking my Madame Glam gel paint in white and I'm going to mix that with Madame Glam's Siberian Storm. Now I can do that with those products because they're from the same brand. I know that they're going to work together um, so there won't be any product breakdown or anything like that. So it's quite safe to do that. Um, the reason I'm mixing them is just to thicken up that gel polish a wee bit and lighten up the colour. So I thought I'd just add some white gel paint in there. Um, so I've just loaded my brush up, but try not to get any wee balls at the end. That sounds so wrong. Any wee balls of product at the end, because then <laughs> it's not going to be... Um, what's the word? You can't get as neat into those wee wings. That's what I'm saying. So I've created a T and then I'm bringing it down from those dots at the sides, usually halfway down the nail bed. That gives you a good kind of judge of where your fringe should start. So I'm just using my Nat Mug Detailer brush and I'm going down those wings and filling them in because if you use a bigger brush, you're more likely to touch the skin. Um, if you do touch the skin, make sure that you wipe it off because like I'm always saying, it can end up giving you allergies if you leave uncured product on the skin. So I'm just going to use the application brush now just to fill that out. But don't worry that it doesn't look perfect at the minute. 
when you put on your second coat you're going to refine all that any wee bits that you need to fix just use a wee brush and sweep out any of that wee product that you want to get rid of <laughs> i'm good at this describing aren't i nope um right so again i'm just gonna end with my nat mug detailer brush and i'm gonna just neaten up that smile line and then use the application brush just to fill it out again and as you can see there's a wee dent on that index finger that's just because i flash cured and then i went and stuck my nail in it by accident don't know how it happened but it's okay because it's not in a client <laughs> or myself because that would drive me crazy and i'd have to take it off and do it again it just wasn't cured properly that's why it happened Right, so now I'm going to cut out this beautiful decal from the boho decal. Yeah, decal. See, when I say that, it's really weird because some people say decal and some say decal. And decal is just wrong in my accent. <laughs> anyway, get back to this. I have went and cut that out as close as I could to the image. And then I'm just using um, my wee application brush and a wee jar of water that I keep for doing decals and I'm just tapping that on the back not over flooding it just a wee touch just enough and you you wait about 10 seconds you'll know when it, you just literally put your finger on it and move it a bit and it will slide off and um, making sure that there's no excess water left on that and then I'm going to basically stamp it on the nail and as you can see you can really position that really well and you're not as likely to ruin any of your decals when you're trying to apply them like the with the tweezer method or whatever um this is a lot better sorry about that everybody just started going nuts there there was a car alarm going off there was a delivery the dog was barking and then cars were going by with real loud exhaust so i was like no we can't have this <laughs> and so i've just done the same method there when i was applying the arrow now anybody that knows me and as you can tell by my logo i love arrows and roses and I love stags as well I actually wanted that in my logo but it didn't end up having it so yes these are my fave I can't tell you <laughs> so now I'm going in with some of the gold leaf and there's also some that are kind of autumnal colours that I had got recently I'm just gently patting that into the base coat now it seems to be with base coat um it applies a bit differently to when I apply it to a tacky layer of gel polish and um, so I had to tap this in and um, rather than doing the rubbing method that I usually do but I love I don't know if you're noticing this about me right now but I'm loving working with the foil leaves um, as you can see when I put it down I'm just tapping it gently because it kind of uh, softens the edges of where you've applied those um, gold leaf I am sorry my wee brain just went dead there <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in the planet, I, I think. <laughs> now this is from the wee pot um, that I showed you. I, I don't know if I showed it actually, but these are from the wee pot with the autumnal colours. So it has kind of oranges and pinks and reds and purples. All the beautiful colours that are perfect for this time of year. Um, I just thought it would add a wee something extra to the glitter as well as the French nails, I wanted to just add a wee bit of character to them. I, I tried it just with the autumnal colours to begin with, but actually I preferred it on the French ones when I had a wee bit of gold in the background as well. So I'm just using my brush in this one and patting it in with a gloved finger. Remember, use a glove if you're going to touch any uncured products. And this is just a wee bit of the gold again. Once I'm happy with where I've positioned it, I'm using the end of the my wee tweezer thing. <laughs> I kind of get the name for it. It's like a hoof stick, but with tweezers in the end, other end. Um, I'm just patting it in and softening up those edges a wee bit. But like I said, when you do it on a gel polish tacky layer, it does apply a bit differently to when you do it on base coat. So I'm just going to add a wee touch of colour to the French nails just to add a wee bit of something and then I'm going to seal all of that in with a coat of base and I'll cure that in the lamp once I've done that I'm then going to buff and file into shape just to refine the, sh the shape of the nails and then top coat 
There we go. This is my beautiful set for my Natalie Muggeridge collab. I hope you really like it. Because, yeah. <laughs> I really, really love these decals and my fave, I have to say. Right, time for Scottish Word of the Week. Are you ready for this, we did? Hello, welcome back to Scottish Word of the Week. And this week I am Natalie Muggridge's dog. But he's came up to visit me and she doesn't know. He's going to sneak back down without her knowing though. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give a wee shout out to Neil Struggles and they said, love your set in Scottish Word of the Week. That was hilarious. Thank you for the decal hack. You're very welcome. This is why I do it. It's to give you a wee giggle while learning some Scottish culture. <laughs> and you're very welcome for the wee, the wee decal hack. I seen it and I had to share. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the Scottish thingamajig. <laughs> And it is Scottish sarcasm. So I write means I don't believe ye. I cheers means thanks for nothing. I so he will means I doubt he will complete that task. And I I okay means I'll do it but I'm no happy. <laughs> anyway, that's this for this week and I'll see you next one. Let me know what you want me to be next week. Say you lots of love. Bye. There we go. It was me Teddy, Natalie's dog. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to be done. I can be absolutely anything, you know. <laughs> He's away back home now. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's been so much fun doing this collab with Natalie. Um, so remember, go over and check Natalie's video out. And don't forget to say hi. Give her a wee thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't, where have you been? You've been under a rock. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a wee comment down below. Say hello. I love it. I love it when you have a wee chat with me. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on Sunday. Yay! Bye!